Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and today we're gonna to talk about how you can stop thinning chip shots. It's such a simple drill that I've got for you guys today, but boy, does it work. Boy, does it work. I've kind of changed across the Atlantic there. Boy, does it work. Anyway, sorry. It's a great, great drill to use, honestly. It teaches a lot about the technique, but it doesn't actually make you think that much about it. And those are the best drills. The ones that you can use, you can see if you're doing it right or wrong, and it's teaching you a correct technique without actually thinking about it. Now, all you need for this is a normal size golf towel, as you can see here. You can use a different towel, but this is pretty thin, and it's a really good one for this drill, as you will see. Now, what tends to happen, I'll leave this to the side just for a moment. What tends to happen when people hit thin chip shots is they get over the ball, they get themselves set up, and even if it's a good setup with the feet slightly left, the hips slightly left, the shoulders square, the weight forward, and those hands just ahead, what tends to happen when people thin chip shots is they come through and the hands retract inwards towards the body, the right hand takes over and then flicks upwards. So rather than maintaining this lovely triangle between the shoulders and the arms, as they move through and keeping the left wrist nice and firm, what tends to happen is they come down, the arms retract, break the triangle, and the hands flick and breaks down like this. So that's the stereotypical thin shot or a top shot when you're chipping to try to help the ball up in the air. Now this drill will stop you doing that, believe it or not. See, I'm even dropping my club. I'm that excited. What you need to do is get the actual towel, one end of it, pop it underneath your right arm. See how excited I am? See how excited the club is? Pop it underneath your right arm bit, bring it down, and you wanna be holding it just in the back of the left hand like this. And as you do that, you can pinch the club against it like so, and then get the club nice and settled in its normal grip position like this. Now, as you can see, as I've done that, the towel has been pulled really, really tight. So there's no kind of give in it, it's really, really tight. Now, what this will allow you to do is as you're hitting chip shots, if you can turn the shoulders back, maintaining the tightness in the towel, turn the shoulders through, maintaining the tightness in the towel, the triangle will not have broken down and the left wrist will have remained nice and firm. If you take this shot, we're using this drill, you take it back, the towel goes slack. You can see here how the arms move upwards towards the body. And as you come through, if the towel goes slack, you can see how the hands have lifted up and the right hand has taken over. Honestly, this is such a simple drill to use. It does feel slightly odd in the left hand having to pinch the towel, but it really just does get the feeling that you wanna be having. So it's pinching it underneath the right armpit, down into the left hand, keeping it nice and tight, moving the shoulders back and through, and trying to keep this towel as tight as possible. And it is, I mean, that, that strike there was kind of everything that I wanted it to be. It was really, really was nice and solid. And into this position again, the towel nice and tight at all times, shoulders back and through, and getting it down there. Honestly, it is such a simple drill to use, but it ticks every single box that you wanna be doing if you wanna stop thinning chip shots. The only way that you're gonna find this out, guys, is get yourself out to that chipping green and give it a go. For more information on chipping, I've done quite a few chipping videos before. It is a real, uh, kind of a passion, I suppose, of mine really in the game because it is such an important part of the game. Please check those out on my channel. But for a straightforward drill that's gonna get straight to the point, this is the one. And what I want you to do, guys, is I wanna run a bit of an experiment with this video. Please share this video around. Post it on your Facebook tweet about it, point people towards it. I wanna see if you guys share this, how kind of large it can grow, if that kind of makes sense. Bit of, a, bit of an experiment on my end, but I really wanna see how that goes. But also, I think this is a great drill that a lot of people can benefit from. So please give that a go. Right guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, comment in the box below, let me know what you think, and I will see you down here next time. But honestly, it's a great drill to use.